Have you ever thought about the intricate connection between the brain and neuropsychiatric disorders? How does the brain's biology intertwine with conditions such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, Alzheimer's disease or major depression? Today, we delve into the heart of this scientific mystery. In recent news, researchers at the University of California, San Diego have made significant strides in the field of neuropsychology. They've analyzed over a million human brain cells to construct detailed maps of gene switches in various brain cell types. These maps offer a profound understanding of the brain's function and the role it plays in neuropsychiatric disorders. This study, a part of the National Institutes of Health's Brain Initiative, scrutinized brain cells from three human brains. In this process, they identified a staggering 107 different subtypes of brain cells. The researchers then correlated aspects of molecular biology to neuropsychiatric illnesses such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, Alzheimer's disease, and major depression. The team didn't stop there though. They developed artificial intelligence tools to predict the impact of high-risk gene variants on these cells and their contribution to disease. This work is a testament to the power of combining traditional neurobiology with cutting-edge technology. However, in a twist of scientific intrigue, another recent finding has shown that neuropsychiatric disorders might not always originate from the brain itself. A case study highlighted by the Washington Post revealed that autoimmune diseases could attack the brain leading to psychiatric symptoms. This was evident in the case of April Burrell, a former straight-A student who developed psychosis and severe schizophrenia after a traumatic event. It was later discovered that she had lupus, an autoimmune condition that was attacking her brain. Targeted treatments for lupus led to her successful treatment. This discovery has the potential to transform care for psychiatric patients with underlying autoimmune conditions. Similar research is being conducted worldwide, revealing the prevalence of autoimmune and inflammatory processes in psychiatric syndromes. The implications of these studies are monumental. The first study has provided valuable insights into the human brain while the second has shown the potential for new treatment strategies for psychiatric patients with underlying autoimmune conditions. However, the researchers emphasize that further research is needed. Scientists plan to study cells from more human brains to understand how the brain changes with development, lifespan and disease. In summary, the brain's role in neuropsychiatric disorders is a complex and multifaceted subject. We're beginning to understand the various factors that can contribute to these disorders from the cellular level to the impact of autoimmune diseases. These findings underscore the importance of continued research in this field, paving the way for improved treatment strategies and a better understanding of our own minds. Today's report brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of the brain and its connection with neuropsychiatric disorders.